Scream 2022. I gotta say, I really love this one. It stayed true to the original, while at the same time, it was a modern horror movie. It felt very modern, but modern in the same way the original movie felt when it originally came out, if that makes any sense. Oh my goodness, I love how meta and self-aware this movie was. Like, more so than how Matrix Resurrections was meta and self-aware. I really hope we see more movies like this. David Arquette's character miserably no longer being married to <laughs> his celebrity wife is an example of something in this movie that's meta. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite examples. <laughs> It makes sense that this movie would do what's trending at the moment. Like, it makes me wonder what the next step is going to be, if there is even going to be a next movie. I feel like it, this movie came out, like, this is good timing because it's a satire movie, and I just feel like right now there's more to talk about with horror movies than there were with actually the last few Scream movies, if I'm being honest. The movie also does some great reverse psychology on the audience, but it only really works if you're, like, familiar with the previous Scream movies. There was one kill scene that kind of reminded me of a kill scene in Saving Private Ryan. I feel like if you haven't seen Saving Private Ryan, which probably a lot of people who are watching Scream, like, newer people anyway, um, I feel like that scene would be more impactful. Having said that, all of the death scenes, there was, always, there was like, an element or a twist to it that I felt made it a bit more... Like, holy shit. It's in the trailers, but the part where Ghostface goes, it's an honor, was actually really cool, I thought. Oh my god, there's a girl in this movie um, who was also in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Love that movie. And there are some callbacks <laughs> to that movie, her character. And I thought that was awesome. Yeah, love this movie. Thumbs up.